uh, flying over the city. Mm -hmm. Did the bombing of Gaddafi forces actually stop at all, or is it continuous since Thursday? No, uh, the shelling only stops because the missile launcher or the mortar cannon uh, begins to overheat because uh, every 40 bomb, uh, the mortar cannon launch, it gets heat. So it needs about uh, 14 to 30 minutes to uh, cool down. Uh, that's the only time the bombing uh, stops. But uh, sometimes there is uh, more than uh, uh, one mortar cannon, like there is uh, a tree. Uh, three mortar cannons. So they are bombing at uh, uh, continuously. Each each cannon each cannon has its turn. When the one of the cannons stops, the another will begin to uh, to strike. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it. Now. Mm -hmm. um, do you still recognize the city of Misrata? Sometimes when uh, when I go go to the places that has been destroyed, like uh, Triple Street or Bengal Street, at the first we didn't recognize the streets. Uh, I told one of the guys, I told them, "Is this is this really the street of Bengal Street?" They told me, "Yes." I said, uh, "I don't believe that it's totally destroyed." And one of my uh, colleagues here is uh, videotaped uh, the Triple Street. And I said to him, you lie, uh, that's not the terrible street. He said me, uh, well, lie, that's, that's the terrible street. So it was a horrible scene. Sometimes I, sometimes I get so angry, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So I hold my camera and we hold our cameras and go there to shoot more and more of these videos. Mm -hmm. um, what so, is the message that so, you... So I, mm -hmm. Yes. Please continue. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Hello? Okay. Yes, um, yes, I I'm said, ready. what is the message that you want the world to hear? Do you have a message that you want to say to the world? Yes. Uh, Masarata is very in, in a very bad state right now. They are, uh, they are under siege for about now a month. Uh, they are surrounding every every uh, way to the city except the harbor. And now they are trying to get this harbor. If they gain control of this harbor, God knows what they are gonna do next. Uh, so the only message we're gonna say is the NATO won't strike anything, uh, any Gaddafi troops. So let us get armed. Let the, the cities that want to uh, arm us arm us. So only thing that we need here is just weapons. We cannot uh, fight uh, a tank with a clash and call or a, a rifle. That would be impossible. Mm -hmm. So uh, just we need weapons. That's uh, our. Uh, That's Thank you so much. And we hope that God is going to be with you, Thank you. Thank and you. the world is supporting you, Libya is supporting you, Benghazi is supporting you, and we are all with you, praying for everyone in Masata and in the other besieged cities. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, no, everyone. Okay, my friend. Okay, I believe everyone heard the interview with the Freedom Group of Misrata. Um, the situation there is really bad. So, I hope that the world hears the message that he just sent. And we seriously need support for Misrata more than there is right now. It seems like it's getting worse and worse, and the humanitarian situation there is really, really bad. As you hear, kids are getting psychological um, problems. Some of them have nervous breakdowns. I believe families are just, I mean, it's not a place to live anymore. I'm not sure about the white phosphorus in Masrata, but as you heard, he said that they are shooting with 
bombs that they don't even know what they are. I mean, if they knew, they would have said white phosphorus, but they don't know. They have no clue. He said when they tried to um, turn the fire off, it just becomes worse. So it could be, might be, we don't know. But I don't think that we have many experts in um, missiles and rifles in the Sarata, so... I will try to confirm it, but right now I can't. So, I hope that whoever can bring out the message uh, brings it out, and we hope that NATO would do more effort in Muslata. And as you heard, he said that the free Libyans are doing more progress than the NATO strikes there. So I seriously hope that things will change soon and that Misrata would be a more peaceful city and that it would get liberated. Um, thank you everyone for being with us tonight. I know this was really late, but it had to be done now and um, um, I wanted to announce something else. I'm going to try to set up an email where anyone that has family in Benghazi uh, within the Biana number 092, you can send the number and you can send your name, uh, not on the Skype, I mean not on the chat here. I will do that. I will do a private email where anyone can send um, a message that he wants to send to a loved one, to a family member here in Benghazi, and I will try to contact them for you guys. I won't be able probably to call every single one, um, I mean every single number that you send me. So I will be replying to you with emails, and I will let people on the chat know who are the ones that are going to receive emails from me. So we will try to set that up tomorrow and once we are ready I will let you know the email to send the uh, phone number, your name, so the person I'm calling would know who I'm calling for. So thank you everyone and I wish you all a good night and a good morning to the ones that are going to start their day right now. So, see you around and take care. Bye. You're welcome all. Good night.